The COVID-19 pandemic put a spotlight on gain-of-function research. It sparked concern over the safety and transparency of Chinese laboratories that investigate bat coronaviruses. It turns out setting regulations for that research is trickier than previously thought. First off, what is gain-of-function research? Well, when it comes to viruses like COVID, it usually involves modifying a virus to study how it might mutate in the future. This can include making the virus more transmissible. While more attention has been brought to the gain-of-function research since COVID, the controversy actually goes back over a decade when a pair of publications described researchers engineering influenza viruses to become more transmissible in order to understand how they might evolve in the wild. A three-year moratorium was placed on such gain-of-function research projects back in 2014. Since then, the U.S. National Science Advisory Board for Biosecurity has been working on recommendations for regulating gain-of-function research. A vote on them was set to happen during a meeting last week. However, so many concerns were lodged at the meeting that it ended with only an agreement to modify the report. Once the report is finalized, the board will send it to the Department of Health and Human Services for consideration. It's unclear when that'll happen, though. 